We all good? All right, cool. All right, good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Um, as you all know, the vote that was supposed to happen today was moved to tomorrow, but in lieu of keeping uh, a schedule, I decided to stay with today's 8 a.m. Uh, commitment to all of you and to the American people. Um, here's where we are. We are due to go for round three of expulsion of Congressman George Santos from NY3. Um, I, I think... We can all look back and say, uh, this is not how at least I thought this year would go. I don't think this is how most of people in the media would think uh, this year would go. And uh, it's just uh, an unfortunate circumstance that I had to sit here and watch the American people waste, uh, Congress waste the American people's time over and over again on something that is the power of the people, not the power of Congress, which is to remove and elect to elect and remove members of Congress. Obviously, uh, some want to cling to some circumstances and to uh, allegations, but there's been a long standing precedent in the House that every single member that's ever been expelled and they are trying to join me to the group of three Confederates and two people convicted in a court of law. So if I am to get expelled tomorrow, I will be number six in the history, the first Republican and the only one without a conviction or without being part of a, uh, or without having committed treason. So, but there's been a long standing precedent in the house that every single member that's ever been expelled and they are trying to join me to the group. But Jamal Bowman gets a pass. That's why today at noon, I'm going to be introducing a privileged motion for expulsion of convicted and uh, guilty pleaded uh, Congressman Jamal Bowman. And uh, I stand there. I think that that's consistency. Let's hold our own accountable, but let's make sure that we do it with the president of the House. Now, if the House wants to start different precedent and expel me, that is going to be the undoing of a lot of members of this body because this will haunt them in the future where mere allegations are sufficient to have members removed from office when duly elected by their people in their respective states and districts. So bearing that in mind, I'm going to make this a very brief and uh, uh, a comment on the, on the process here that's taken place with the Ethics Committee. By admission of the chairman himself, he said that the process was not full throttle and not complete because it would require many more months in order for the committee to offer any kind of uh, punishment. So instead, they decided to stop short of completing the process, going ahead and putting out a slanderous report, unprecedented. Nobody here's ever seen ethics reports of any other members who's been under investigation. But yet again, changing precedent for me, it seems that it's all fair game. So there we go. They go ahead and release this, this report littered, littered in hyperbole, littered in opinion that would have no decent cop would bring this to a prosecutor or a DA and say, here's our report, go ahead and charge him, right? So this is what the ethics committee put out. God bless them and what they think they're doing and what their work is. You know, I believe they do good work when it's relevant, but this, this ain't it. 